Hi y'all, so I thought I would uh, take a moment to walk through the process I have been using to animate my film to cross the sunset. So here you see the sequence that I will be working on. Um, these are the keyframes that I took from the storyboard of Akeme um, rushing through the water. So played through it a couple times to get a sense of what I'm doing and then here I am adding a draw another drawing. This drawing, if I remember correctly, is of is meant to ease into the first keyframe. So I draw first I start by drawing the stick figure of the pose that I'm wanting I'm envisioning, which is of her kind of lunging into this key pose. Yeah, so I draw it out. Play through it to see how it looks. Um, you'll see that I change the um, the playback range so that I can save some time. Yeah, so it's looking good. So the next thing I'll do is uh, draw over this stick figure to make sure that the the drawing is roughly on model with all the details and such. Yeah, so play it back. It's looking it's looking a lot smoother. So now I'm going to add a drawing, or a couple drawings actually, between uh, the first two keyframes. So the first drawing I'm doing is, uh, is kind of cushioning into the moment, into the movement. Um, slowing in is the term, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's just slightly moving to indicate the beginning of the motion. Yeah, so scrub through that, play through it. It already looks much smoother. The next thing I'm gonna do though is another trick to really add some oomph, some oomph to the motion. I'm going to add a overshoot drawing. So this is a drawing where Akeme sinks further into the motion than the actual keyframe, making the motion look a lot more powerful and extreme. So. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Rub through that. You can you can already see. Yeah. Uh, something looks a little funky with the hair, but you can see that. It, it looks much more intense, the motion. I'm messing around with the timing a little bit of the drawing to change the effects, but um, now I'm moving on. So I change the playback range, see what I'm working with. That, um, that one keyframe looks really still and so I'm gonna what did I do I I copied that overshoot drawing and had it play again to make it look like she's she's tugging um, repeatedly so that should give it more sense of motion. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Very smart of me. Very smart. Play 
way through it a couple times and planning how to approach the next drawing. Yeah, so between that and that. How do we bridge that gap? With another drawing. So for this, this is a, a pretty wide gap to, to fill. So I check the arc because um, most natural movements occur on like an arc pathway and I'm going to use a, tech, a, a breakdown drawing basically um, halfway through the motion where this is the pose that uh, the character has and this drawing is meant to describe how uh, how the character moves from one pose to another yeah that's what I'm drawing now Scrub through that, see if it works. Yeah, it's on the arc, it looks natural. Um, a little bit fast, but yeah, so go through, add a couple more details. Yeah, it's looking good, but very sudden um, at that one point. So what do I do? Yeah, so it looks like I add another drawing. I think, yeah, so what I did was I cushioned into, I treated that breakdown drawing almost like a keyframe and added some cushioning to it with a couple other drawings. So, yeah. some adjustment um, to really bring home how how she's settling into this pose so I'm adding more of the more of the influence from the last pose if that makes sense and totally drew that head too big shrink it down a little bit Here's how it's looking. That cushion drawing. Okay, so next I'm gonna add a drawing between that and that. Between this drawing and that drawing. So I think what I end up doing is add another breakdown or like halfway bridge kind of drawing for a kind of curving into the pose. Scrub through that. It looks like she kind of jumps so I yeah, let's see. Yeah, the arm needs to poke out a little more. Yeah, 
that. So look how much smoother that's looking already. Um, ordinarily, or like in a much more, not professional, like high, high end production, there would be like in between drawings, between all of these drawings that I've done to add much more smoothness. Um, but I, I've been really appreciating this approach of just keeping it to the bare minimum of drawings linking the keyframes because I got all that done in like 20 minutes which is great because I have a lot more sequences than this to do so this this animation style is allowing me to get the ideas across in a way that's not horrible to watch you know it's pleasing and effective and also <laughs> the film will be done while I'm still alive which is great all right so these next planning out my approach for the next few keyframes what do I do? Another overshoot drawing. She really crashes into the water there. I think I, I add a little drag on the hair. Yeah. That drawing takes a lot of time. I think I add another, and I remember adding another key frame at some point. So let's see what we do. Scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Yeah, so here I'm adding another key frame. She just turns around and stares after the raft. Yeah, that's looking much better. So just a little cushioning between between into the new the new keyframe. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, so an anticipation pose. She's getting ready to lunge. Right, let's see it all play out. Yeah, so that's, that's the process I used. I hope it was um, informative to, to watch me go through my process you learned something if you're if you have any questions please leave them in the comments I, i'd love to um to explain more if there's something that i wasn't very clear on and yeah thank you for watching